Let me ask one other ridiculous question. We talked about the death and life cycle that is ever present in the universe until it's not, until it's supermassive and little black holes too at the end of the universe. What do you think is the why, the meaning of it all? What do you think is the meaning of life here on earth and the meaning of that life that you look for, whether it's on Venus or other exoplanets? I think there's none. I find enormous relief in the absence of meaning. I think chasing for meaning is a human desire that the universe doesn't give two shits about. <laughs> <laughs> but you still enjoy... I enjoy finding meaning in my life. I enjoy finding where the morality lies. I enjoy the complication of that desire. And I feel that is deeply human, but I don't feel that it's universal. It's somehow absolute, like we conjure it up. We, it, we, we bring it to life through our own minds, but it's exactly. not in any kind of fundamental way real. No. And the same way the sun is not to be blamed for destroying its own planets, the universe doesn't care because it has no meaning. It owes us nothing. And looking for meaning in the universe is demanding answers. Who are we? We're nothing. We don't get to demand anything. And that includes meaning. And I find it very reassuring because once there is no meaning, I don't have to find it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> once there's no meaning, it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of freedom in a way. You, you sound a bit like... Um, I, I, <laughs> like I'm happy about it. This isn't a depressing outlook as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's a... I don't know if you know who Sam Harris is, but he... Uh, despite the pushbacks from the entirety of the world, really argues hard that there's that free will is an illusion. That um, you know the the, de the the deterministic universe and it's all already been predetermined and <laughs> and he's okay with it and he's happy with it that that he's distinctly aware of it. The and quantum that's okay. world will disagree with him on the deterministic nature of. Nature. Well, he's uh, it's not that he's not saying it's deterministic, but he's saying that the randomness doesn't help either. Like r randomness does not help in the uh, in the experience of feeling like you're the decider of your own actions. That he kind of is okay with being a, a leaf flowing on the river, like or being the river. Right, as opposed to having or being like a fish or something that can decide its swimming direction. He's okay just embracing the flow of life. I mean, in that same way, it kind of sounds like your conception of meaning. I mean, it just is. It doesn't, the universe doesn't care. It just is what it is. And we experience certain things, and some feel good and some don't. And uh, that's life. But I don't feel like that about life. I think life does have meaning and there's, and it's laudable to look for that meaning in life. I just don't think you can apply that beyond life and certainly not beyond earth, that this notion of meaning is a human construct. And so it only applies within us and the other life forms and planet types that suffer from our intrusions or rejoice from our interactions but it's this this meaning is ours to do as we please we created it we've created a need for it and so that's our problem to solve i don't apply it beyond us i think we as humans have a lot of responsibilities but they're moral responsibilities and a lot of those responsibilities are much more easily fulfilled if you find meaning in them so i think there's value to meaning whether it's real or not i just think we gain nothing from trying to anthropomorphize the entire universe. And also, that's the height of hubris. That's not for us to do. Yeah, it also could be, just like duality in quantum mechanics, it could, uh, it could be both that there is meaning and then there isn't. And we're somehow, depending on uh, the observer, depending on the, the perspective you take on the thing, I mean, even on Earth, that's true. But the whether things have meaning or not depends a lot on who's looking. 
whether it's us humans, the aliens, or the giraffes. <laughs> Clara, this was an incredible conversation. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I learned so much, but I also am just inspired by the passion you have in um, the not finding meaning in the universe. In my yeah, right. For someone, I'm very passionate <laughs> about not finding meaning in the universe. <laughs> You're the most inspiring nihilist I've ever met. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Uh, this, you're, I mean, you are truly an inspiring communicator of everything from phosphine to life to quantum astrochemistry. I can't wait to see what other cool things you do in your career and your in your scientific life. Thank you so much for Thank wasting you. your valuable time with me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, it was my pleasure. I had already got my four hours of productivity before I got here, and so <laughs> it's not a waste. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> Thank you.